Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to ex exam I want to explain you how we can uh, how we can generate a responsive form that automatically work and we can pass our widget to this method and this method is manage all things we need. And we have extra item in this video that is a challenge for ChatGPT. ChatGPT is new trend and it's very wonderful. I work with that and it's so amazing and I I so I don't know what to, at what to say. It's very good. Uh, and I put my challenge and I uh, talk ab about this my challenge and he can uh, communicate with me but but chat GPT have a problem and we need talk about this right now okay Okay, uh, this is my conversation with ChatGPT and uh, I asked them to create a responsive form like this in here, but I think, I know this is amazing, but it can, it needs some improvement. For example, in Flutter, I say I need a create Flutter responsive form and he uh, told me very useful uh, concept, for example, layout builder, media query, and it's okay. It creates some sample for me, but it doesn't okay. I explain that I need, and he say you can use, for example, if your width is more than 600, you can use row, and if it's below than 600, you can use column, and it's, it's okay, but I, uh, I say to I need a function it's bring whole things to a function but I say it's have a problem and in this sample he's passed two text field to this method and it's okay but then I have 10 text field because it, this his method is always static and I put all of text field in a one line there will be very tiny and it's not good and he says yeah you are correct and you can use wrap but wrap in this example is not true because wrap doesn't work you need to pass a size for each text field and after that you can put it in a wrap i said to chat gpt and he says yeah you, you said true but it's use expanded in a wrap that doesn't work because when you use expanded it's fill whole size and wrap doesn't mean anymore. I said it doesn't work again and he used flexible and doesn't work absolutely. And I said uh, my answer that you see in video and he says you're correct, it's function and, and uh, he explained this uh, function is uh, how it's working. It's very wonderful for me and I very like chat GPT but uh, I think, uh, and I think my question is a little bit hard, but you can ask any, any, any topic and he answer you is in very, very good way. For example, I passed the code and he very, very quick uh, solve it and check this function and it's, it's know what's happening in my code. It's, it's, it's very good. I, I don't know what to say. I like it. I love it. It's very nice. Okay, I have a page that have, some, have a form. And in this form, we have some fields that they can be a text field or drop down items. It doesn't matter. I have some widgets that create my form. And I want to create something like that. If I increase my size, uh, this button need to be bottom of my form. It doesn't matter. I want to show you the concept. And you can see what happened. I need this. And what can I do for that? 
let's try and create this. I return a scaffold in my home page. The body is need to be a column. And the children is good text field. It doesn't matter. I want to copy and paste, for example, 10 times. And we have this. I go to the main and change this to home page. And I run my application and what happened? Okay, you can see my items is in there and it's all of them is below each other because I use a column. And in all size, I have the same UI. Okay, but I wanna say I need uh, my text fields beside each other if they can. For example, I have, a, I have an option, I can change it to wrap and pass the size for each of them for example I can set width well, I can delete this and it's okay and you can see what happened if I it's need some I need it's a little confusing Decoration box decoration input decoration border outline input border okay and I can set some padding I think and copy and paste this. Okay, you can see it. <clears throat> we can do it with path, but we need to pass exact widths for each my each my text field. For example, I uh, if I use for example mobile size, they are it's beside it in two column. If I uh, some bigger device. Uh, uh, it's fill it and what happened when we used wrap wrap uh, try to fill our widgets in a one line wrap try to uh, create our uh, widgets in a one line and if they have not space they goes below and you can see in here I have uh, this text field and when when wrap uh, can found another space put one of the text field in uh, up and if doesn't have any room it's put in bottom and in next line but it doesn't good why because in this size we have a messy UI I need to fill in fill this area okay what we can do I create a method <coughs> for that uh, that's work like this okay I have a <coughs> for example a class that responsive dot dot and class responsive and we have this method okay I want to show you what happened I have a mobile size 14 I think final kinds static comes the I am sorry okay and if I I used 
responsive dot my responsive form that it's take my children and I refresh again you can see what happened it's fill it and you can see when I change my size the width of my text field is changed and if it's too little it's put it in another line and if we have a mobile size they are below each other and what and how this work okay <clears throat> it's merge columns and row together and what and how we calculate this count this count is depend my screen size that you can see I use layout builder that it's very common useful widgets when you need to create responsive because you have a constraint and when your uh, device size is changed the builder rebuild whole widget and you have a const constraint that you can get widths and heights of your area okay and this kind this count it calculate each row size in my column I have a an, I have a total column I, I have one column for whole list list and in column we have some rows depend my list of widgets and list count this count this count calculate for example when I have in this area my count is two but when I in I was in mobile size I have this count is one for example in here my count is two and I create a list of rows you can see I, I generate a list and return a row and my count is this count and you can see I put my widgets in a padding and this padding is get vertical space and horizontal space from uh, my method <coughs> and I have uh, some extra item because uh, when your length is uh, uh, have a uh, mo have a mode you need to add uh, another uh, because I because I cal calculate this length uh, parse it to int and for example if you have in this section when you have you need three rows but my length is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight divided by three, it's written two. And in this situation, I change. If my, mo my mode is greater than zero, I add another <coughs> row to my column to fill other items. And in this year, this code. And finally, I fill my list and return this column and we have this very responsive form. Okay, thank you. Uh, I wanna show you some challenge uh, in another video and work more than with ChatGPT. I like this and I think in future things, everything will be changed. I don't know. Thank you to be with me and to another video. Goodbye.